Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got another manga haul for you today. It is November 14th and I am only halfway through the month and I've got a lot to show you. I have unboxed them already because as you know if you're watching my other manga hauls I just can't wait. So the way this manga haul is going to work is because it's only halfway through the month and I've got a lot more coming. I'm going to do half now and when I get the rest of the mangas in I'm going to just add it on to the end of this video. So it's a manga haul video so big it's going to take a couple weeks to film. <laughs> okay, so the first two things I'm going to show you are not actually mangas, they're two Blu-rays that I picked up but they're related to manga. First one, Your Name. So I've heard wonderful things about this movie, it's based on a manga which I haven't picked up yet, but I hear nothing but good things about this film, so I'm really looking forward to diving in to Your Name, I hear it's wonderful, so there's that one. And next is... A Silent Voice of the movie. Now here the manga is amazing for this as well. I've yet to pick it up but I'm definitely thinking about it. But I hear good things about this film as well. So I've got two Blu-rays based on manga. So part of a manga haul sort of, don't you think? Now to the books. So I've got two stacks here looking at me. There's a lot here, so let's just dive in, yeah? First two are the continuation of my Overlord collection. So I've got number six. And number 11 finally turned up. So the collection for Overlord is rounding out nicely. I think I've got all of them. Part 12 is on pre-order, I believe, so nice. So a lot of my decisions in purchasing manga are through watching other YouTube channels and watching their manga hauls and just getting an idea of what's out there and just getting my finger on the pulse on what's popular. So another one I picked up strictly through public opinion and that is Slam Dunk by getting the names right, Takahiku Inu who also does Vagabond. So I've heard amazing things about Slam Dunk. Volume 1 in my hot little hands and I have got the others on the way too. So it's a massive collection, there are a lot of volumes in Slam Dunk but I hear really good things about it. I've yet to start reading Vagabond as well but um, that's gonna happen. Slam Dunk. Next in the ever-growing collection of Dean Barry is Demon Slayer 2 and 4. So yeah, I've been watching the anime for Demon Slayer. I've been doing my reactions on my channel. It's, it, it's an amazing show. It's it's so beautifully animated. It's gorgeous. So I thought, why not? I'm gonna I'm gonna dive into the manga as well. So I've just watched the infamous episode 19, which was incredible. So um, yeah, I absolutely adore the show. So I'm really excited to dive into the manga as well. Demon Slayer. Next up is three books so this is rounding out my collection for the I'm a hero so I'm a hero number six see that one because if you don't know I'm a hero is a zombie manga based on the zombie apocalypse number seven I'm really looking forward to diving into these ones too man I got so much to read it's crazy and this is number ten I'm a hero Why? So as you can see, my manga collection is growing very rapidly. So I've got uh, a few more books here to check out. These are new ones. Once again, I've just heard amazing things about them. So I'm going to be diving into Happiness. So this is Happiness Volume 1. All I know about this one is it's a vampire manga. So as you kind of guessed, I do like my supernatural horror monster mangas and TV series and anime and stuff. I grew up on horror movies, so vampires and zombies. Is, so, so horror movies, I just absolutely loved them growing up as a kid. This is number two. I just love the artwork in these two. The front covers are just absolutely stunning. There we go. So the, the artwork inside. Whoop, wait, make sure I'm not showing anything. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Turn the page. Of course, I don't want to spoil myself, but yeah. There you go. So the animation, the artwork inside is absolutely stunning as well. All right. Then we have got Happiness number three. These, these books are just just beautiful just waiting for the camera to focus being a, a lighter cover that's just kind of hard to track and then of course we have got number four of happiness so these covers are just absolutely stunning so you could say i do go on a bit of a, a shopping binge on amazon and that's where i get most of my stuff some people ask where i get my mangas from primarily amazon okay so more than the, that's that was stack one so the rest here is fairly high. I have got my collection for, and this is an interesting one to say, the Dead Dead Demons Dead 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 Destruction. 
I'm, I'm really excited to dive into these. I love the animation and I, I love the covers on these as well. So this is number three, Dead 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 Destruction. And this one is based on a sci-fi invasion tale. So once again, beautiful artwork there. Number four. Number five. I really love the title of this too, it's really quite unique. Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction. Cool man. And we have got here number six. Once again, just amazing, amazing covers. Do you guys read this manga? Or am I showing you kind of stuff you've never, never heard of before? Because I like to be paying it forward. So I'm watching some manga hauls and getting inspiration. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be doing the same to other people who are just kind of like diving into their manga collection. Like, I'm still very new at this. But damn, have, have I not got a lot. I mean, holy shit. All right, next is, and this is what I'm looking, I'm really excited for these ones. That's the Full Metal edition of Full Metal Alchemist. So we've got number four and number five. Both kind of turned up the last couple days. So I have ordered all of these online. They're gonna be turning up eventually. But um, yeah, the, the anime, well, the first anime I've watched, like the, the first season, the initial season, the, the, 2000, the 2003 version, I've watched that, but I'm really excited to dive into Brotherhood. But, um, yeah, man, these covers are amazing. Nice, nice hard covers and just, just stunning. Let's take a look inside. Oh, look at that. The paper quality is impeccable as well. It's really crisp and white. That looks so... Wow, this looks really high quality. Very, very cool. I'm excited to um, have this in my collection. I wasn't going to get them, but I'm a collector. That's what I do. All right, next. Oh, my goodness. So this is uh, an interesting title. Once again, just inspired by other YouTubers. Doro Hey Doro. Did I say that correct? So I'm not really sure about this. what this one is even about. I just, I had heard that people really like it, so I do a lot of um, blind buys, so I just kind of leap in and not really, well, I get a bit of information, I know it's kind of um, about a couple characters in a very violent society, that's as far as I know, so that was one, this is number three, of course they all kind of turned up in no particular order, which is annoying, not that I'm going to start reading it anytime soon, because I'm still going through Binland Saga at the moment, up to book three, Sensational. This is number five. They say you can't judge a book by its cover, but damn, I'm judging and I reckon these are gorgeous. It's number six. Just stunning artwork once again. And number seven. So I have pre ordered most of these on Amazon, so there will be more turning up and rounding up my collection fairly quickly, so. I know, I have a problem. Shut up. Now this one is uh, a relatively new manga, it's only kind of fresh on the market. I haven't seen the anime yet either, but I've heard nothing but good things, so I wanted to, I wanted to kind of jump on the bandwagon. So I've got V-Stars. So I've got Volume 1 and Number 2, both kind of turned up together. And I'm really kind of curious. I have seen the movie Zootopia, which they kind of compare this to, but obviously a lot more adult than they Pixar Disney animated CGI film, which was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I watched it on a plane one day on a on a trip somewhere. Wasn't I wouldn't normally go and watch that, but um, yeah. Look at the artwork. So I hear good things about B Stars, so I'm going to be diving into that too. And when I can get a chance to watch the anime, because I don't know where it's streaming on. I think it's Amazon at the moment. I'll definitely check it out. I hear it's CGI, which is interesting. And this is another collection that I've kind of just was inspired to get because once again I hear nothing but good things about it. Oh my god. Stack of books. Alright, Fruits Basket. Yeah, that's right. I'm diving into Fruits Basket. There's an anime to this too, I, I hear, and a lot of people say that's wonderful. But I hear nothing but good things about the manga. So I've got book one. And book number two. Once again, more of these are on the way. Number three. So the artist is, is Natsuki Takiya. I am really curious about this series. So it's a slice of life drama with, with a little bit of um, 
romance and stuff inside so i don't mind that like i definitely am into my genre my supernatural stuff but because i'm embracing manga so wholeheartedly i just want to kind of experience all the genres and this is number four so once again with blind bias i'm really hoping that that i fall in love with the series if i'm not liking these mangas and i'm, I'm getting quite the collection like the shelf I set up the other day is very full already, but I'm thinking if I don't like the mangas, I might have to like donate them to a library or something, or do a giveaway. Okay, so nearly at the end of the haul, for well, this part, like like I said, there's going to be more coming, is more of a collection I've already started, and that is Prison School. So I've got number five. So once again, I hear really good things about this one. It's uh, so it's primarily a comedy, and. A little bit naughty as well we were number seven and you can see by the artwork that it's very very good i mean these are very pretty ladies so i'm very curious about leaping into these um warning explicit content of course so not for the children this is number nine really great cover work i, I just love the the simplicity of the design it's really cool and that's why what, what i'm loving about manga is the mature content you can get so it's not for the kiddies this is stuff for adults Number 10, a lot different to the um, the DC stuff I grew up as a kid reading, like Batman and Superman and stuff. Now I'm reading about ladies in prison. Number 12, and I love how they um actually send these to me sealed. <laughs> so you can't accidentally take a peek inside. Really got to put all these away. And this is my last one for today. Pre-ordered this when I ordered the other ones. This is Berserk, the deluxe edition number 3. So this is a big book and I cannot wait to dive into this one because goddamn, this looks insanely good. The artwork is going to be incredible. So Kentaro Miura. So Berserk. So I've got the three titles now. So this only just got released recently. So I have got Berserk. So what I'm going to do now is put these away on the shelf in their collection i'm going to pause the video now and continue on when i get my next haul which which will probably be in a couple of weeks i'll let the um the collection grow but there there is a lot more coming new series and more collections for what i've already started so see you in a tick hey guys welcome back so it's part two of my mega massive manga haul i've got a few more pickups that arrived in the last couple of weeks since i did my last manga haul and I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing today too because a whole heap of things just turned up. So I'm going to do some unboxing for you today for those ones. But first up, I'm going to show you what my pickups were last week. So first up, and this is all pretty much like I said in my other reaction, a lot of YouTube referrals. So I'm watching a lot of manga hauls. And as I'm watching these videos, I'm listening to what the people are talking about. And if that manga seems interesting to me, I leap on the Amazon and pre-order it. So it's really dangerous that most of these pickups are like... Well, Australian between eight to fifteen dollars, so I just hit that add to basket button a little bit too frequently. So my manga collection is fairly significant right now, as you know. I keep mentioning that. But the first one I picked up is Stravaganza, the Queen in the Iron Mask. Now this one just looked pretty cool. The guy who reviewed it said it was an amazing first book. The other books are on Amazon as well, but they're in German, so I'm gonna wait until part two arrives. But this does look pretty cool. It's about um, a mysterious warrior travels the kingdom of Aurora, battling monstrous creatures and helping others when she can. So it looks like it's going to be a bit of a fantasy novel. Um, yeah, I can show that. Can I? Yeah, not too graphic in any way. Um, like it has got a pretty suggestive cover. So, so yeah, it's uh, for mature readers. It says that down there on the bottom. So... Number one. So my next arrival was Full Metal Alchemist number six. So I'm getting all these trickling in one by one. There's seven and eight I think are on pre-order because I don't think they're available yet from memory. But I just love these books, man. It's like um the Full Metal Edition. That is just, that's a nice book. It really is. And the paper quality is, like I mentioned it before, it's just insane. It's so crisp and clean. Like it's so white. And it's not transparent in any way. It really is quite a beautiful looking book. Like you can kind of see there's um You can see some of the the alchemist symbols kind of like when, when the light hits it just right, but I can't show you there because it's not showing up. So my next two pickups seem very, very popular with the manga community. So I've got Komi Can't Communicate One 
and Comey can't communicate number two. It's about a gorgeous girl who is so socially awkward that she cannot actually communicate with people. So her journey is that she's got a couple close friends and they're trying to get her 100 more friends so so this looks pretty cool it's meant to be wonderful so i'm really looking forward to diving into these ones next is i am a hero number eight so yeah i'm a big fan of zombies as you know and this collection is just about complete i think i've got most of them there now um or do i have number 11 or number 12 on the way i'm not sure but i think this might actually be the last one no i just checked this is the last one i think so my collection for i'm a hero is complete i think let me know if i'm wrong in the comments but cool my next pickups are Slam Dunk, number three, four, five, and number six. So there are a lot of these in the collection, so I'm slowly getting them in a few at a time. Uh, I'm not really big into sports myself. I do like my football. Not a lot of basketball has graced my TV set, but I am very curious about this manga because I hear nothing but good things. So I'm really curious to check out this sports manga. It's going to be fun, I hope. Nice. Okay, next we have got... And my Demon Slayer collection is growing nicely now. Number two and number five. So I wish they came in in numerical order because I would like to get started. I don't think I've got number one yet. It's taken us time getting here. But um, yeah, Demon Slayer, nice whack. So next in my collection is Doro Hedoro number four. Once again, this is another massive collection. There's a few books in the series. But I hear nothing but good things about this one as well. So I'm really keen to dive into that one too. I've got... One, two, three, at least five books already. So I think number four is going to fit in there nicely. So, yeah. So next on the hit list is Prison School number six and Prison School number eight. Why not? I hear great things about this too. It's a little bit naughty, but it's a really great comedy. So I'm really looking forward to diving into these ones as well. They are sealed because they're naughty. <laughs> and next, rounding out my... Fruit Baskets collection, I've got number six. Number 10, number 11, and number 12. So that lot turned up like over the last week and a half. So as you know, sometimes I just can't wait and I unbox stuff when I can. But now I've got a few to go through here, I've got a bit of a bit of a haul. Once again, I kind of snooped myself to go get my grocery shopping, and then you know the story. I get overwhelmed. Number one, let's check it out. Okay, rip. So yeah, just um, actually, I take enough bags to carry things in, but I actually I didn't have enough bags, so they lent me a, a garbage bag to carry some of these home in. But thank you, ladies. That was very nice of you. They actually some of them subscribed to my channel, so that's really cool. All right, Battle Royale number two. Now, these are pricey as hell on Amazon. Some of them are worth over $400 or $500, especially the big omnibus editions. They're, they're not, no longer in print, but even these small paperback ones, man, they're like, um, they're super expensive. So I'm not getting these quickly, like one every few weeks when I, when I pay the MasterCard off a little bit, but um, I'm excited to check it out because it is very popular. It's a classic for a reason. And like I mentioned, I have seen the movie, but I couldn't tell you what happened in it. It was so long ago. Next. Okay. Paper bag. And has got a bit of trauma on the back. So hopefully the book inside is okay. Okay, what is in here? Oh, there's a couple. Oh, it's a, it's a collection. It's a few. Aha, uh -huh. nice work. So we've got... That really, oh, that came quick. All right. Dora Hedera number 12. So, yeah, I'm just kind of like ordering these randomly. I kind of just work my way down the list, and if I haven't picked one up for a little while, I order it. But I'm really excited to round out that collection, like all 20 volumes or so. Yeah, 20 odd volumes of that one. And this one, I just literally watched a, a video the other day. Golden Kumai. So the guy who reviewed it said it was an amazing book. I'd never heard of it before. So I decided... I'll give it a shot. It's only the first one. I haven't ordered any others yet, but I was kind of curious. The artwork's really nice inside. Like, the most manga that we pick up is absolutely gorgeous. And this is by Satoru Noda. So, yeah, I think it's about, what is it about? In the early 20th century, 
Russo-Japanese war veteran Sachi Immortal Sugimoto scratches out a meager existence during the post-war gold rush on the wild frontier of Hokkaido. Cool, that's what I'm going to say because, hey, spoilers. I'm excited, it looks cool. Another bag. But yeah, I only ordered, ordered that one like two days ago, I think, so that's got here really quick. Good on your Australian Amazon. You're amazing. How do you get into these things? Rip down the middle. Ta-da. All right, one book in this, this whole thing. Vacuum sealed almost. But I can't, I, I can't open it. I don't want to rip the book. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Wow. <laughs> I just got it. I win. Oh, shit. No, I don't. Spoke too soon. Careful. Okay. Oh, my lord. I'm out of there. Wow. The, um, doesn't help that the stuff is actually sticking to the book. That was harder than it should have been, man. Okay. Oh. Finally, Demon Slayer number one has arrived. Oh my god, I ordered this one first. And then, yeah, that's the last one to get here. So you can't really tell when things are going to arrive, but I'm glad it's finally here. So that's that's great news, Demon Slayer. The anime is amazing. It absolutely is. So you can see the artwork inside. So the anime is done, has done a, done a pretty good job remaining faithful to the manga art. Yeah. I like it. Cool, excited to dive into that one. Um, no, pumped. Yeah, so the drilling you just heard, uh, we have the MBN being put in, which is the which is the national broadband network. Everyone's getting connected to the the new super fast highway internet thing, hopefully. Um, and the guy's just outside the door, literally drilling and get everything put up. So I just went, hey man, are you gonna be long? He said two minutes. Next, another book from the book depository from Amazon. What? Well, don't you hate that? <laughs> Every time. All right. What can this be? Like I said, I ordered some of these things weeks ago. Some of them I've ordered a couple days ago, and you just can't tell what's turning up when. Ooh, nice. And you get a lot of um. Let me just show you this. You get a lot of paraphernalia in these books, in these boxes as well. So we get. Little bookmarks, um, how to order audio downloads, um, a wine coupon, $100 off, uh, your invoice as well. So you get a lot of stuff when you open the box, all this confetti just starts falling out around your feet. It's annoying. Rant over. Yes. Fruit baskets number seven. So very, very cool. I'm... Um, I don't know much about this series, it's just that it's a slice of life, a uh, romantic comedy. So, am I coming back? There I am. So I'm really excited to dive into it. What I love about manga is just there's, there's so many different genres. So like I said, I grew up reading DC and, and Marvel, which is just all about superheroes mainly. And, and I loved it growing up, it was a fantastic art form and got me into reading, much to my father's dismay. He wished I'd um, go outside and kick the ball around a bit more, but I was too busy reading my, my comic books. So manga is just really designed well it's for everyone but you do have mature content romance stories horror stuff sci-fi the gamut is amazing so i'm really excited to be diving into this amazing new this new world that's taken me nearly 40 years to discover sucks to be me well actually no it's not it's very exciting to be me because wow oh this has got a bit of a bit of a little lip up that's fine box number two i'm not gonna count the boxes there's too many it makes my heart hurt Right, what's next? Cool. This is really exciting, man. I love getting, I love getting new stuff. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Once again, all the um paper stuff is falling everywhere. It's making a mess, guys. I've got to do the vacuuming now after this. Who wants to vacuum and I could be reading mangas? Woohoo! Prison school number eleven. So that's still coming along nicely. I don't know how many more there is in this series, so I think I'm just about done. I have had to order one from the American store because it wasn't available in Australia. Pretty random, they just kind of run out of stock every now and then, so I have got one coming. Um, I don't know which one it is. It might have been 8. Or maybe it was 11. I don't know. Okay. Another big volume. Aha. Perfect. 
once again. Making a mess, I just get the maid to clean it. Number nine, focus. Damn you. These white covers are really hard to get into view. There you go. Isn't the artwork amazing? I just love this. I just love the simplicity of it as well. It's just really bright and striking. Yeah, this is going to be fun to get into, really. There's an anime too, right? I think most of the manga books I've collected, there's an anime adaption. So I'm looking forward to um, diving in and checking that out. Next, there's one, two, three, four books to go after this one. Two of them are small, and then there's two big ones. I think one of them might not be a manga. We'll find out. Oh. But it'll be cool, though. I'll save it to the end. Because if it's what I think it is. Oh, okay. Obviously, I've had a bit of um, bit of a, a shopping binge with my fruit baskets. Number eight. Focus, damn you. You can do it. Go. There you are. Nice. Once again, just a beautiful, simplistic design on the cover. Yeah. Very cool. So, number eight. Getting all the fruit baskets. Just look at the artwork, isn't it nice? It's just kind of so simple and, and endearing. I'm really excited to read it, it looks fun. Next. Okay, this one is surprisingly heavy. Heavy one. Like how we're getting the Christmas stuff on the front there now. I am, like, we celebrate Christmas, yeah, we have the, the holidays. Um, not overly religious, but we do celebrate and spend time with the family and give each other gifts and stuff. I'm. I'm not going to need anything. I keep buying myself stuff all year. When people go, what do you want? I'm like, Every, I've got everything. I don't need anything else. More manga? Just be careful what you pick. Because I'm, <laughs> I might already have it. Okay, cool. Nice. Ooh, okay. So, Doro Hedoro number 10. Oh, no, I got it. So, number 10 has arrived. Number 11. God, this video is going to be hours long. And happiness number seven. I'm really excited to check this one out. I have got a couple zombie mongers on the go, ready to read. So this one is a vampire story. So I'm really excited to check this out. Once again, it comes sealed. So that's probably because there is mature content. Yep, 18 plus. So sealing it so innocent eyes can't see. Ooh. Next. Decent size box. Um, this is where I'm going to need my trusty opener. What have we got in this one today? Oh my god. Okay, this has got many. Some. Oh shit. Can't literally grab them. Alright. Actually, I can't actually grab them. Get my English correct. Doro Hedoro number 9. Awesome. Do it in order. Okay, cool. Wow, shit. Yep. Okay, Dora Hedora number eight. Once again, I'll be getting these all in order on the shelf. So I've got, I'm still going okay for space. I'm not freaking out too badly just now. Um, platinum end at three and four. Now I'm hearing mixed reviews about these ones. I have got number one and two. I was under the misconception that there was only two books in the series for some reason, so I ordered those two thinking they were going to be a quick read. And there's like 12. So I've decided to kind of dive in. It's about people having a battle to become the next god. I just really love the covers though. They're kind of like really shiny and, and cool. Made by the guys who did Death Note, right? Which also, yeah, I've got to read that one. I've got the all-in-one book, which is looking cool. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to give that a chance. And next we have got Happiness number five. Number five for you. And Happiness number six. Sick, sick artwork. Okay, now the two I have left are big. Oops. Um, what do I do first? I'm going to do this one. Now, I think this one obviously is not a manga because if it was, it would be the world's biggest. So, I have an idea what it is though. So, even though it's not a manga, I think you might still be pretty interested to see what it is. Oh. 
Oh man, I hate that. So you got bubble wrap, and then oops, hitting the mic all the time. You okay? You okay, Mike? You're very expensive. I don't want to break you. So um, surprise. So it's definitely. I think it's definitely what I think it is. And this is again, um, I was watching another YouTuber doing a Mungo haul. He did the same thing. He pulled out this during his Mungo haul. And I thought, cool, that is awesome. I'm a, ma a massive fan of this thing that I'm about to show you. <laughs> this, is, this is incredible. Trust me, it's coming out of the box. Oh. The, the Godzilla, the Showa era films, 1954 to 1975. Can you see that correctly? This is all the movies, man. Godzilla, Godzilla raids again. King Kong vs. Godzilla, Mothra vs. Godzilla, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, Invasion of Astro Monster, Ebera Horror of the Deep, Son of Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters, All Monsters Attack, Godzilla vs. Hadora, Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla vs. Megalodon. Sorry to get the light on there. Godzilla vs. Megalon. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And Terror of Mechagodzilla. All in beautiful pristine Blu ray. 8 Blu ray special edition collector set feature. So, that's huge. That's not going to fit on my shelf very well. But, hot damn, this looks incredible. So, yeah, nice. Not a manga, but hey, Godzilla. Eh, last box. Are you ready? This is, um,. I'm recording still. Uh, one of those big hefty volumes. So now I do think I know what this one is as well. I had one of these a couple videos ago. Part one of this particular set. So if you have um, watched my videos and you know what I might be pulling out. Yep. Yeah, okay. This is cool. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. No. Oh my shit. Oh my lord. Ugh. One piece. This is box set number two. Volumes 24 to 46. And that's really heavy. It's the... I can't read that. It's the Sky Pier and Water 7 box set. Ah. Oh. Oh my god, this is... Oh. Right? I got the second box, which means I can now order the third box, because there's one more to go. And even that's not all of One Piece. After that third box, there is the Omnibuses, which I'll need to get. I'm very, very excited about diving into One Piece, man, because it's one of the most... It's the, the most popular selling manga on the planet, right? Yeah? Let's open it. Apologies if that's super loud. Oh. Alright, see? It's got the trusty little pull tabs on front. Oh. There you go. One piece in all its beautiful glory. And that just falls up again and handle there. Shit man, that's um that's a lot of a lot of manga. Um this is my November haul. So there's gonna be more to come, I'm sure. I've still been ordering a fair bit, so I'll do the rest of that soon and attach it to this big mega haul. Hope you're enjoying that. See you in a sec. Hey guys, welcome to the third part of my November manga haul. Today's date is the 28th of November. So I do have a few more parcels to unbox for you today. Um, so I'm assuming it's just going to be more of the collections that I've already started. Um, I have got a few new ones coming, but I don't know if they're going to be arriving today or not. But there's only one way to find out, and that's dive in. So I don't know how long this video is at the moment, but thank you for sticking around. It's, um, it's a lot, I know. Okay, first box. Well, first bag. So yeah, I get my parcels from Amazon. A lot of people ask me where I get most of my shopping from. Uh, Amazon is my main go-to. So, first book. And I love doing this so much. It's so exciting. Okay, so we do have a new one. Maggie. Maggie? Maggie? So like I said in my other videos, I get my 
choice of books through other YouTubers. So this one comes highly recommended as well by Shinobu Otaka. So Magi has joined my collection and it's growing so, so much. Number one. And once again, yeah, I don't really know much about it, but it looks cool. I am judging my books by their covers. Next one, Priority Shipping. And this one's got a little tear in the bottom. A little tear in the bottom. That's fine as long as there's not a tear in the book. So, what is in this one? Number... Okay, there's a lot of, um, feels like it's wrapped up. Aha, uh -huh, of course it's wrapped up because it is Prison School number 13. 13? 13. That rounds out my collection for Prison School, I think. Is there 13 or 14 in the collection? I don't remember, but I'm very excited to dive into this. It looks so much fun. And once again, I haven't started yet. I'm currently halfway through Vinland Saga. I'm about to knock out book number six. What, a, what an amazing manga that is. It's so good. And I'm watching the anime as well. Sick. So, Prison School, which also has an anime too. Most of the books I'm picking up do have an anime adaption. So, I will probably will be checking those out at one point. But Prison School, awesome. Another parcel. And most of these are in these little white envelopes that I do not like very much. I just don't feel like they protect the book at all. Even though it is like bubble wrap. Oh, nice. Cool. All right. Obviously out of order. Arrow of the Zombie number four. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I'm a massive fan of zombie stuff. Like the movies and the, I'm watching the, the Walking Dead. I just literally watched an episode just then. Um, I've got I'm a Hero, and I heard Arrow of the Zombie was also a pretty good manga as well. And this one, all the zombie horde apparently turn human for one hour of the day, so they can reconnect with their loved ones. So it looks like it's going to be an interesting read. How's it look inside? Yeah, some really nice animation. Beautifully drawn. Can you see? I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to be stung for copyright for showing too much of a book. But yeah, I'm excited for that one. So that's number four. I hope the other ones are turning up. Okay. Next one, books depository. I reckon, I reckon this is going to be another Hour of the Zombie book because I kind of bulk ordered them a few weeks ago. Well, two weeks ago. It's not, but it is Slam Dunk number two. Now I have been getting a lot of my Slam Dunks in, and I'm up to like number seven or eight with my collection. So number two has definitely taken its time to get here, but I'm really excited to jump into this one as well. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of basketball, but I'm a a big fan of good storytelling and amazing artwork so I'm excited to dive into that especially with the artwork by who's it by um Takihiku Ainu yeah looks amazing so I hear it's a really popular series so I'm gonna be diving into, into that one I've got so much to read guys this is getting ridiculous but I'm so excited though this is cool so this is the last of the little white packages small paperback what do we got aha Hour of the Zombie number two. So that's two of them here. So I ordered these books a few weeks ago, like I said. So I am kind of forgetting what I've got coming. And I'm adding a lot more to my basket in Amazon. So I've got a few sitting there. A lot of them the a lot of them a lot of them are long running series. So I've got like one or two of the books and then I'm just gonna kind of order them in slowly. So I'm only picking stuff I know I'm gonna be really interested in and it's got good reviews. So I'm not too nervous about not liking it because it's zombies and manga I mean, what's not to love <laughs> no brainer okay next so up to some flimsy cardboard packaging now rather than the white paper bags zip tie I'm having a guess small oh, <laughs> nice okay this is another one that I saw recommended highly on another youtuber and it's by the author that did Full Metal Alchemist, so Silver Spoon number one. So it's about 12 in this series. I don't know if it's ongoing or not, but I hear wonderful things about this one as well. About a guy on a farm. So it's basically a farm manga, but having the pedigree of Full Metal Alchemist, which I've yet to read as well. I've got those editions sitting over there staring at me, but I love the anime. I've got this one. So I've got a couple more of these coming on the way too, I think. But yeah, these these come highly recommended. So I'm excited to dive into Silver Spoon as well. Not Silver Spoon, the old TV series from the 70s or the 80s. Remember that one from Ricky Schroeder? Show my age. Shut up. Flimsy. Most of the books are good too. So flimsy cardboard packaging and the white paper bags. So far the books were okay, which is um great. Never had to, I've not had to really return anything yet. Nothing's too damaged. 
Okay. Oh, nice. Put my... I'm making a mess on myself, guys. This is hard work. So messy. Happiness number nine. So that's going to pretty much round out that collection as well now. I've got a few of those sitting there on the shelf. But yeah, if you don't know, this is a vampire manga. So I'm very excited to dive into this because horror is my is my genre of choice. Zombies and, and vampires and scary stuff in general. I'm a big fan of horror, so I'm looking forward to diving into this one. And once again, manga is just... um, Yeah, I don't look too much because of spoilers, but yeah, it's really pretty artwork. It's very nice. And look at that cover. Isn't that good? So good. Yellow paper. Where's the opening? Okay, here we go. Been through customs, so they open up and check. So this one is not through Amazon Australia then. I only leap onto Amazon.com US for the books I can't get in Australia. And that means I think I know what this one is because they're hard to get. Let me see if I'm right. Yes. Okay, I'm absolutely correct. Battle Royale number three. Now these things are out of print, so they're very very hard to get hold of and the books that are available are pushing like 500 600 dollars on amazon or on ebay it's ridiculous how much these things cost so i have found them on the us site and they're like anywhere between 20 to 30 bucks and that's us as well so i'm paying a bit of a pretty penny for these but um they're, they're amazing and there is only some options to get used so i'm buying so like really good quality looked after loved used books as well i don't think this one is used but yeah just being out of print so hard to get hold of so battle royale guys i've seen the movie i loved it and i'm very excited to check out this book too man exciting feels like i'm on a boat okay zip tie amazon.com paperback aha uh -huh. very cool wow really yeah, just checking over there on the shelf. So, Dora Hedera number two. So, this one took a long time to get here. They cancelled the order. That's right. So, I've got the whole collection. Well, not the whole collection. There's like 25 books in the series. I've got up to number 12. But number two was an order. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting for it to turn up. And then I got an email from Amazon last week saying that the order had been cancelled. So, I was like, shit, let's do that again. And here it is. So, finally got number two, which means I can start reading these books soon. I'm actually thinking after Vinland Saga, my next series will be Pluto. It's a reimagining of Astro Boy, so that'll be my next go-to, I think, because um, I'm enjoying Vinland Saga so much. It's so good. But I've got a whole bunch. of have got Fruit Basket, Full Metal, Happiness, um, oh, all B-Stars. I've got to do my JoJo's. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's here. Cool. Next. There's only about three boxes left. One more like this. Two more like that and two bigger boxes. Not um one piece box set size, but hopefully there's a few in them. The two. My manga collection, man. I'm so happy with it. My wife, she's not so happy with it. Oh nice, okay. House of the Zombie number three. So they're all arriving nicely. So very cool. I'm really spoiled for choice. I don't know what to start next, honestly. Like I say Pluto now, but Man, I could dive into Overlord or or anything. Yeah, I don't know, but got that. My wife, though, like I was saying, is um. So we're getting the NBN put on, right? We're supposed to get it on last week. Couldn't get it on because when the guy turned up and looked at where we needed where we needed to put the the cable, we had a bookcase in the way. So we actually have it attached to the wall. So we need to strip the bookcase, unscrew it from the from the wall, move it out, and get the NBN and get the NBN attached, which is happening this day next week. I hope. Um, so in the meantime, we've stripped all the books out of the bookshelf and my wife has decided to cull some of them so that she's going to give them to a bookstore, donate them. So that's left a bit more storage space for me on the bookshelf. So I've kindly asked if I can have a bit more room, which she begrudgingly has said okay to. So that's going to really take out a lot of the stress when it comes to um, storing my manga because there's a lot. But um, I'm quite happy to have my prison school and my other gory horror stuff right there in the living room so all the guests who come over, like my in-laws, can see it quite free and easy. She's not fussed about that at all. Next, so thicker one, probably might be two or a hardcover. I don't know if I've got any more hardcovers coming in. No. Aha, of course, and this is 
Why are things sticking? That wasn't easy. Munger unboxings are not meant to be hard. Not hard at all. It's meant to be fun and easy. And messy. Fruit baskets number five. So that one has taken a while to turn up as well, but here we are. Finally, a bit of slice of life, romance, comedy. I'm very excited to read this because one, it's not my traditional kind of comic book read. So I've not really read any romantic or light comedy comic books or manga before, so curious. I hear it's really good. Next, this is the last one of these smallish kind of boxes. Drumroll, please. What is in this? Okay, plastic wrapped. Ah. Oh. Confetti everywhere. Oh, number 14. So, I think this one rounds out the series. So, I've had to order a couple of these from the States because they're just not available in Australia. They were selling out pretty quick. This one was a pre-order, I think. I'm not sure. But, number 14. That's got to be it, right? Akira Hiramoto. Number 14. Naughty fun. Meant to be pretty funny. Bit risque. Sealed for your own protection. But, um, yeah, prison school got, yeah, I think that's everything now, but that one has to be. If there's more, that's cool, though. So, not gigantic, but there's a few in there. That's good. Carton, opener, time. Trust the unboxer. Right. Bubble wrap. Put you there. Okay. What have we got here, then, guys? New stuff. Oh, my God, we got new stuff. All right, let me put this in my lap. But we have got Dora Hey Doro, 17, 13, so no particular order, 15, 14, keeping track, 16, so that's growing. I've got my shelf space over there with those on there, and there I've got room for about three more books in that particular shelf for this series, so that's going to fill up very, very quickly. So what do you guys think of this series? Is it a good one? I freaking hope so, man. If not, I'm going to be having so much manga to sell. Uh, yeah, I need to recoup my losses somehow because if I'm not liking any of these, I'm really fucked. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am going to love them. Um, I've always been a collector. I've loved collecting movies over the years and, and comic books. So this is nothing new to me, like having a, a massive amount of stuff. So um, I'm hoping I love it. But yeah, it's just, it's just cool, man. I'm such a big nerd. I love this stuff. And so there's a new book. And this is from one of my friends at work, Mickey. G'day, mate. How are you? So he loves the anime for this, and he's loving the manga as well. So I got this one pretty much under his recommendation. Food Wars. Number one. I think I've got number two coming soon. But he, he swears by this. He, he says it's amazing. It's hilarious. And, um, yeah, it looks really cool. So what's the synopsis about? Soma Yukihira's old man runs a small family restaurant in the less savory end of town aiming to one day surpass his father's culinary prowess so hones his skills day in and day out until one day out of the blue his father decides to enroll soma in a classy culinary school so it's um about a, a young guy wanting to be a chef look at that artwork that looks cool so it's um i hear it's funny it's a little bit naughty but uh i'm I'm very curious, so uh, um, I'm excited to be checking out new stuff. That's it. Well, everything I'm grabbing is new stuff, really, because well, it's new to me, but Food Wars, here we go. Last box for today, and last box for November. My November haul is coming to a close. Thank you so much for sticking around. I know this is a long video. I'll try to edit it down to um reasonable time, but if it's going to be like nearly an hour long, then so be it. I mean, you guys are here because you love manga haul videos and unboxings. This is cool fun. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Wasn't expecting these today. This is very cool. Now, let me just get these sorted out. So, as you know, I've got the um the two the two box sets to one piece, and I've got the third box set on the way for that one. That's going to be issues 1 up to 72 or 77, I think. I'm not too sure. So, after that, there's been a whole bunch of omnibuses that have been released, and rather than buying the magazines one at a time, like the manga's just one book at a time, I've gone through the omnibus version. Let me get these in order. Yes, that's right. I got some one piece here, okay. guys. Ladies and gentlemen, just want to get in the right order. Okay. One piece. I'm so excited for this one. 70, 71, and 72. 
Omnibus. So I've got a very long One Piece journey ahead of me. I cannot wait. It looks so, so cool. And um, yeah, I just, God damn it, that one. Next, 73, 74, and 75. So I'm going to have a, a nice little collection of One Piece sitting over there against the wall. I Maybe I should start reading these next. That's the thing, though, diving into such an epic series like One Piece, all my other manga aren't going to be looked at for about three years. 76, 77, and 78. I'm just loving these little omnibuses, man. The books that come with like three to four mangas in there at once. Ah, oh, so good. Can you see the cover? Camera likes to focus. By Ekiro Oda. Am I saying that name right? Oh, it looks so good. Okay, and the last one. I'm so happy this is kind of ending up on, on One Piece as the final. 79, 80, and 81. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Big fans of One Piece out there. Loving it. So I've got I got a, a hefty collection of One Piece stuff, like the box set, the third box set should be arriving soon. I'm hoping it makes it before the end of November. So I've got tomorrow off. There might be a couple more books arrive, which I'll add to my December haul if I need to, because I, I don't want to record anything tomorrow. I've got to do some things. So I thought I'd get this done today. But um, yeah, the third the third box set should drop soon. So well, that's my November haul for manga. Um, a lot of stuff, I've got more on the way, like I said, so they'll just grow over December. But did you like this format? Would you rather I kind of just do one big haul at the end of the month? Or a few little ones during the course of the month? Or do what I did now, just kind of like split a couple weeks of recording up and just stitch it all together? I know it's kind of, kind of different in every one, but new shirts and all that kind of stuff. I do shower and shave and wash my clothes, so <laughs> that, that happens. But um... Let me know the best format for you down below. If you like this kind of way of doing things, I'll keep going. But whatever you like. Because we all like manga. And I like doing unboxings and reading manga. I've really got to start diving into that, man. Beanland Sagas. I'm knocking the books out pretty quick, which is good. Like, I'm up to book number six. And I only started that about two weeks ago. I know I'm not the fastest reader in the world. But, um, yeah, it's really kind of easy to just flick through it really quick. But with manga, the artwork is so beautiful. I want to slow down and take my time and just enjoy the artwork for what it is, not just skim through the, the pages and get absorbed by the story. I want to appreciate the art. Anyway, what do you love about manga? What's your favorite manga? What brought you to manga? Why do you love it so much? And any other stuff that you've not seen in my videos that you think I might like? Apparently I like Shonen Jump. I'm getting my head around about, so I'm getting my head around all the, um, all the genres of manga. So good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. I know it was a long one, like I said. I'll catch you all in the next haul. Thanks for watching.